YouTube, it is I, Big Elvis, and the Big Elvis Diecast Review. As of this taping, it is Friday, and we have got some stuff we're going to open up. We have opened up. This is a drag racing style mat. It is from Turbo Pads, the starting line of the drag strip. So if you've got... Uh, some drag strip items and you haven't got a pad check out turbo pads it's done up like a mouse pad like so many of them now this is pretty thin uh, you can see the burnouts you can see where people have been parking you can you know it's it's not a great long distance but it'd be good to get you some pictures if you wanted that drag race style mat or picture i think it was pretty cool here in our quick uh, opening, I had a request and a guy from Fox and Big Dog's diecast page sent this to me. Uh, they are on Facebook. They do auctions on uh, Fridays and Saturdays, uh, sometimes different days, but most of the time it's I catch them Friday, Saturday. Uh, it's the Porsche 918 Spider from poster cars. So let's just get her out and see what this poster cars are about. They are they are done on a uh, plastic base. Very uh, similar to Eno's. Uh, some of those more expensive lines. Uh, you can see on there, Porsche 918 Spider in the guard's red. This is part of the Hyper League collection, number 17. Looks pretty good sitting in the box. It just comes in this box on that blister pad. Uh, like so many of those other ones, N.O. and that. So there's where it's made. Yan China, I guess is how you pronounce it. Uh, but one screw, which is awesome. So let's take a close-up look at it here on the base. It's got some pretty heavy detail work inside. Uh, no opening parts. There's your logo let's see if we can get put that in on that logo a little so there's the porsche logo inserted pieces for headlights does have casted mirrors that are part of the casting itself which is nice because i've heard some really complain about most of the time it's uh, Hot Wheels, not wanting to, or maybe can't do uh, I don't know how you would say it, but some of their cars that should have mirrors, don't have mirrors, and they look kind of weird. You get some of these higher end cars, most of them have at least a plastic mirror that was put on. Now this one, it is a plastic base. It is a screw-in base, so if you want to do modifications, you can. Wheels look pretty accurate. Tires, looks like there may be a little bigger tire in the back than in the front. I think that's where, that's either some flashing stuck behind the wheel, or maybe where it was screwed down on the base. But you get that with a lot of them. So you see the dash pods. You can see the steering wheel, black interior. Looks like your Carl style seats. There is the engine. There's your diffuser. I'm wondering if those portholes there are supposed to be the exhaust. There's your Porsche 918 Spider logo. Now that, maybe it's just the way I'm holding it. 
but it's pretty clear and crisp. Looks like inserted taillights. I don't know what that says. That could be fuel, maybe fuel door. I don't know if on the spider they're on both sides. I haven't seen pictures of the real car. And if I have, it's been a while. But the poster car is pretty nice. They're not heavily expensive, and it rolls nicely. Uh, I don't remember. I think I gave on the a couple others that I bought to try to go with this set around ten dollars each but nicely detailed uh, as far as a lower end i don't i don't even know how you call them lower end but there it is now the one set that i did want to get open and complete out uh my next set of boulevards so the liberty walk silhouette nissan sylvia s15 and it has been done by a lot of different companies. Um, so let's check out and see how Hot Wheels does it. There she is, Liberty Walk. Metal chin spoiler. Windshields are, they seem to be getting darker and darker. Maybe it's just, I don't know. I watched another YouTube guy. He talks about, uh, he's got a theory that some of these windows are getting darker so that they can make these cars with no interiors to help save money. And uh, I don't know. Now this does have that dot matrix style printing, so when you get close to it, as you can see, it starts to kind of break up. You can really tell it there on the fin. Of course, these are metal on metal bases, real rubber tires. There she is, here. Casting and in all information. Now, to look at that car from Hot Wheels. This is the Liberty Walk from Mini GT. I think it should be the same car. Well, I know the car itself is the same, but you can see Mini GTs. Of course, they've got all of the sponsors. They are a true Tampo instead of that dot matrix. Still metal chin spoiler. You can see everything on this car. The Mini GT. They even get, now this is one is a metal base and it does have the screws. So if you wanted to customize, you could. They've got some detailing work on the bottom. Row wise, I mean a premium, that's really smooth. Mini GT, it ranks up there pretty much with it. I mean, with the real rubber tires, I don't know if you'd take them down the track or not. That's a quick look at uh, the Mini GT, Sylvia, Liberty Walk compared to, you know, our Hot Wheels style. Up next, is the Advan MBK van and I know the Advan is licensed I think the MK the, that van and I could be completely wrong I'm, it may be a Japanese style van or, or that we don't get to see here in the US but she is a heavy duty monster she's a of course you can see that dot matrix look the graphics are pretty nice on it, especially if you are the Advan collector. Nice detailing up front for the headlights. Give me your opinion on the uh, 
dot matrix compared to the Tampos. Some of the silver series, and I call the silver series the new, they're not quite premiums, but they're not quite mainlines either. They're above mainline, but not quite a premium. And they got a silver logo on the Hot Wheels. It appears that some of those are Tampo and some of those are Dot Matrix. So I don't know why they choose to do that, but or how each vehicle gets chosen to be done like that. But it's kind of interesting. Our next one up is the Porsche 718 Cayman. Cayman. This was number 93, premium gold series. And let's just see what we got here. Now, I have recently, well, I, well, I won't even say recently. It's probably been at least a year. I've gotten more and more into the Porsches, the RUFs. Even some of the V-dubs, the styling of the Porsche is just pretty awesome. Now this does have plastic headlights. I'm not going to say inserted because I imagine they're part of this uh, windshield. Looks like this windshield got a little crack in it right there. There's your front. Got some detailing with, I guess, running lights and that. Your Porsche logo. Nice, just pretty blue, no racing livery. Your GT4 on the back. Got your diffuser. And here's your information. It's so hard to read some of these. Now, this was 2022 for a 2023 release, uh, which I think this came out toward the end of 2023, I think. Our next one up is the Nissan Skyline RS KDR30. Pretty nice looking. Let's get her out the package and see. If you have a favorite casting of this set, leave it a comment below and let's let's see what your favorites are. Four valve turbo KDR. The wind. Yeah, those are tampoed. They may be tampoed over the plastic. A little clearer window. You can see down in there, of course, that right-hand drive. Black, so it's going to show fingerprints, I'm sure. You can really see the dot matrix look on that one, how it breaks up. So I don't know why they're doing the dot matrix. Maybe they figure it's cheaper. But it doesn't look very good. There it is. Looks like a 2019 copyright date for the 82 Skyline. Not too bad. This was one that I was kind of looking to get uh, to see what it was going to be like. Chevrolet Corvette Yinko Stinger. Now this has got the Gulf livery on it, but it's not the red and blue that is most common. But I think they did a pretty cool job graphic-wise with it. Get her out the package here. And so you got the Gulf on the lights, covering the lights. It's pretty much the only place that says Gulf. You get the little Gulf flag there. 
double horseshoes, and I know there's a reason for the double horseshoes, and I cannot remember for the life of me what that is. Nice detailing on the back. Here it goes 66. There's your stripe down the hood. It does have the painting around the windshield. The trim over the top. And here's your information. 2021. This casting was licensed to come out. So I imagine for a 20, late 2021, early 22 release. And I know I've seen that casting. I don't know if it came in. Is this the first release for that casting? in the boulevard I'd have to get up there and look for sure but there's your five cars plus your review on the poster car we'll do some more poster cars later hope you enjoy your Friday and we will catch you next time please give us a like and subscribe we'll catch you later